Yama. Yo soy el 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 Yama. Soy el Yama. The motivation for the Escuela Latinoamericana de Matemática Aplicada, el Yama, arose from my own personal experience. When I decided to study mathematics in Argentina, my family and friends thought that mathematics was a really limiting career choice. Fifteen years later, I feel this could not have been further from reality. In Latin America, the utility and importance of mathematics is not always apparent to the general public. The aim of the school was to showcase the value of mathematics in an effort to begin changing the mentality. With this in mind, we chose Ecuador as the host country and applied mathematics as the topic of our school. Students, who were mostly undergraduate and master's students, came from Ecuador, Mexico, Guatemala, Peru, and Colombia, with varying backgrounds in biology, computer science, engineering, physics, and mathematics. The school, which lasted two weeks, consisted of theoretical lectures and laboratory sessions where students could practice coding in different languages and running simulations with real data. The courses and lab sessions took place at Universidad San Francisco de Quito. In order to convey the universality of mathematics, a diverse range of applications were highlighted in the, in the topics of the courses. Fluid mechanics, cancer dynamics, control of epidemics, and machine learning. Next, let's meet our instructors. Uh, yes, so I'm uh, Jacob Petrosian. I'm a professor of mathematics at University of Maryland, College Park in the United States. Um, I, my research is in the mathematical analysis of differential equations, usually those arising in fluid mechanics or plasma physics or similar physical situations as this. Um, so the course I'm teaching here uh, is kind of an introduction to mathematical modeling using differential equations. Um, so I introduce um, mostly mathematical biology examples, um, both ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations and show a little bit of how to analyze them uh, by hand and also how to simulate them numerically. And then in the laboratories, they do numerical simulations, they see pictures, um, and we discuss uh, kind of what the dynamics are. So the emphasis is more on the dynamics than on um, any particular fine theory point. Uh, and I think this is a good place to start learning differential equations, even if you, even if you do want to do theory. Uh, later in life, because um, you really need to understand the dynamics and the focus of mathematics and in applied math is understanding um, really the predictions and the limits of the models and what kind of dynamical uh, behavior you can see from the models. Hi, my name is Doran Levy and I'm a professor of mathematics at the University of Maryland College Park. My expertise is in mathematical modeling of biological and medical systems. I am here in Quito to teach a short course on mathematical methods of cancer. We cover a lot of things starting from cancer growth, cancer immunotherapy, cancer evolution, and many other things. Uh, essentially providing tools for everyone to start thinking about how to do research in this area and what kind of questions researchers ask. It has been a great experience and I hope that everyone likes it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Maria Soledad Aronna. I'm from Argentina, uh, but I'm a professor in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, in Fundação Getulia Vargas. So I'm here in Quito, Ecuador, to give a course on optimal control with applications to biology. Um, in particular, I will do some applications to disease control. So, my name is Rafael Kobin. I work at the Sao Paulo State University. I'm a researcher there. Uh, I work at the Higher Energy Physics Group, which is called Sao Paulo Research and Analysis Center. We are members of the CMS collaboration at the LHC. And I work doing machine learning analysis on mainly particle physics, high energy particle physics. Uh, I'll be giving the course here on introduction to machine learning. So I'm going to talk about the very basic topics of machine learning. So uh, we're going to discuss the idea behind the AI and what actually is being done right now. 
And during the lab sessions, I asked the students to uh, play a little bit with uh, machine learning tools on data sets. Most of them, they come from the real world, uh, especially the ones that we use at the well, they are data from particle collisions, and so they're high energy physics data. And I asked them to do manipulations and maybe try regressions and so on and so forth. In an effort to engage the general public, the lecturers of the courses were also asked to give a series of public lectures at La Escuela Politécnica Nacional. The titles of the lectures were Patterns in Chaos, Vortex Motion in Fluid Mechanics, Mathematical Modeling, The Role of the Immune Response in Leukemia, The Mathematics of Epidemics, Machine Learning, the industry and the basic science. To close the school, we held a panel discussion for students to ask questions about applying to graduate programs around the world and provide them with information regarding broader career opportunities in mathematics. We hope that the experience was beneficial and that there will be similar activities in the region in the future. Hello, my name is Nicolas Zapata. I am from Ecuador and uh, I am a physicist and a mathematician from Universidad San Francisco de Quito, the host university uh, of the school here in Ecuador. Um, I really have a lot of fun in these two weeks and I really uh, enjoyed the courses. I learned a lot and the lecturers were really, really good. So uh, for me, it was an amazing experience. And also I would like, uh, I would really like if you I continue to do these type of schools here in Ecuador and in Latin America because in that way we learn uh, of different opportunities for doing our masters and our PhD uh, outside of our countries. Hi, I am Esteban Murillo. I study mathematics at the EPN in Quito. I attended the first Latin American school for applied mathematics. I really enjoyed the experience. I liked the topics that um, were taught to us and I met new people who I could collaborate with in the future. Um, in the future I'd like to see uh, more theoretical topics maybe, but I really like the experience. Uh, hello, my name is Juan Zurita. I am from Quito, Ecuador. I study biotechnology at USFECU and I am 22 years old. Uh, what I really liked about the course is uh, the attitude of the attitude of the teachers because they all had a lot of patience and taught us how to write code and specifically in MATLAB I do not have so much experience and I, they really helped me out um, and I also love the contents, the diversity of the contents, it's, it's really cool to be part of that kind of uh, diverse uh, environment. I would really love to see some mathematical models for gene expression for example in applications to synthetic biology or maybe some mathematical physics. Hi, I'm Ivan. And I'm Odalis. And we're from Guatemala. We went to the first Latin American school in applied mathematics in Quito. We learned new stuff such like the cancer dynamics and fluid mechanics. We want to thank the ICTP for letting us be part of this amazing experience and also thanks to Chia, Matias, all the teachers and the rest of organizers that were involved in this activity for teaching us and let us be part of this amazing journey.